at the sovereign wealth funds, I mean, I mean sovereign wealth funds, uh, I define them simply as uh, government investment vehicles uh, with an interest in maintaining huge uh, reserves, I mean, uh, investments outside the country for the purposes of, of gaining investments. Now, in Kenya's case, we don't even have enough investment to start with in the country. So why would we be exporting investment money to other countries to, to begin with? Not to mention that even uh, um, most, most countries tend to fill their sovereign wealth funds with money that comes in from two sources, mostly uh, natural resources, especially it is vast. So we're talking Qatar, we're talking Abu Dhabi, we're talking, or rather we're talking Qatar, we're talking the United Arab Emirates, we're talking of, uh, of okay. Venezuela and, and, and places like that, Norway and all that. Uh, so that the first, I think the first hoop we definitely don't meet because our reserves are not uh, that much. And secondly, countries that have a uh, uh, surplus yeah. in, for, in foreign exchange, I mean in, uh, sorry, in current, uh, current account payments, we, all, we have a deficit. If, if we take into account coal in a Mui Basin, um, titanium ore down in Kwale, the minuscule oil reserves we have in northern Kenya, would we get to a level of scale necessary for a sovereign wealth fund? No, let me introduce a third factor. And perhaps it looks unfair, but let me introduce a third factor. One, many of the countries that have uh, very good sovereign wealth funds, and we're talking about Singapore, for the purposes that uh, it has uh, good exports and therefore has a surplus in that respect. We're talking about uh, uh, Norway, and we're talking about uh, Qatar and all these, and uh, countries in the Gulf. Many of them are also countries that are already at a middle income level, at the least. Now, why? So you're now saving money to actually ensure that the future, I mean, you, you, you preserve revenues for, for future investments and all that. Now, Kenya is not even at a middle income level. We are not even at the basic $1,000. So why would we save money <laughs> for future generations when today's generations are starving? It doesn't make sense. Uh, we have a railway that uh, we are borrowing money at atrocious rates to fund. Those are the things we should fund. A disgruntled Kenyan taxpayer would point out, but Kwame, this is the same government that doesn't know how it spent $3 billion of our money about two fiscal years ago. Yeah. So if we essentially take this cash from oil, titanium, coal, whatever, and give it to the same government and tell them, go and spend this on infrastructure, aren't we essentially just throwing quite a bit of money down the hole? But what's to give us the confidence that the investment funds would be established, I mean, the sovereign wealth fund, which is basically just an investment fund, would actually be less corrupt? It would probably be, I mean, its oversight would ov obviously be by the same instruments that oversee uh, expenditure today and which seem to be failing most of the time. So really, uh, I mean, that's a big point, but it's a point that is uh, neutral in the sense that it would affect both the sovereign wealth fund and um, other public expenditures, which happen on a regular basis.